Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I recently made a video right here, how to layer images from Google on Cricut Design Space. And about two days ago, I got a comment that asked if I can do Olaf from the movie Frozen. And the answer is yes. I decided to just make a quick video to help you out. So like I said, first we have to go into Google. So, so I'm going to type coloring pages first, just because I feel that'll be the easiest. And I'll go right into images. Here are some ads. These are the ones that you can buy on Etsy. But as you can see down here, they're basically the same pictures. So we just have to find an image that has good solid clear lines and it's a good quality picture. This one actually would do great. Or this one actually, is, I think it's perfect. So I'm just going to click to save image. And it says Olaf Frozen, that's fine, and save. Next, I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space. And the only difference from my first video is that I am, I am using my desktop here. Um, on my first video, I used the iPad. But it's basically the same thing. Using a desktop is actually better and my preference. So now that I'm on Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go into Uploads and click Upload Image. Browse and here is Olaf. Now I like to use Complex and Continue. Scroll down here for more options. And I like to just add a little more tolerance. I'm going to do 100 and see how it goes. Okay, so I just did one click on the outside and we can see all the backgrounds removed. It looks good so far. Then just start clicking into all the white spaces. Make sure that you leave the outline. And always preview to see that you're getting nice crisp lines here. You don't want any of like the pixelated looking stuff. Okay, and I believe that is it. So I'm just going to preview it really quick. It looks good. And I'm going to use my eraser tool to get rid of this bottom part. But this is how the image should look. And I'll apply and continue and save as a cut image. Now we just add our image to our canvas. And this is where the layering begins. And as always, I start with my base. So I'm just going to hit contour and hide all contours right here. This is why I like the desktop because this button right here is not on the iPad. So once you hit hide all contours, you can see it just turns into your perfect background. Now we just click out and here is our first layer. Now duplicate. And I like to just go by color. I feel that's the easiest. So maybe let's do white first for the body. So I'm just going to hit contour. And the body is right here with the feet. Make sure you click on these circles on the outside. You see how there is two circles? Click on the outer one. Also up here, click on the outer circle. Okay, so I think that might be okay. I'm not sure. Now I'm just going to go up here and remove the background. And when I click out, it should just be the white body. So I'm just going to change the color and put it right on top. If we miss something, we can always go back. For example, here, the whole body here is missing. So I'm just going to go back and click on it. And there we go. Moving on, I'm going to duplicate and hit contour again. And now let's do something easy, just the nose. So I'm just going to click on the nose here and remove the background. And here we are. And that is orange. Okay, once again, we duplicate. Contour. And now I'm going to do the arms and the head. So that is brown. And I'm just going to be clicking on these little branches and also his eyebrows. So that is the brown and now I will just make it brown and place it right on top. And depending on the amount of colors, that is how many layers you will need. So the more colors, that is the more layers. Now I'm going to do the little buttons right here and I'm going to make those like a gray. Something like that. And I need to add his tooth and the eyeballs right here. I forgot in the white layer. So I'm I could click here, but just make sure that you're clicking on the white layer, the one that you want to be working on, and just hit contour. And here we go. I'm going to duplicate, hit contour. I hide all contours just because it makes it easier to just have one layer showing, and that way I can just pick what I want. So I just wanted to have the mouth. Now I just remove the background. And here is the mouth. And... I think in pictures, it's usually like a bluish color. So we could just add that right here. 
as you can see, it was very easy and free to just layer images from Google. I don't have Cricut access, so what I'm using on Cricut Design Space is all in the free version. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And also let me know what other things I can help you guys with. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.